Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Frustration Friday, this time for March. This month's Frustration Friday is a little bit different. It doesn't really piss me off or anger me. It just kind of, you know, makes me... I don't even know. I don't know. It... <laughs> It's hard to explain what I'm trying to go for. Um, it doesn't really make me, like, upset or angered or anything that people do this, because it's like, do whatever you want. I just think it's really dumb. So, today's topic of conversation is Insta fakers and wannabes. So, have you ever been on Instagram and, you know, you find this new company, or you find a new celebrity hairdresser, makeup artist, designer, or whatever... And you go to their page, and they have, like, 600 photos posted. They follow, like, 900, 1,000 people. And then they have, like, 12K followers. You know, it's fine. You know, Miss Fame has, like, 14 or 15,000 followers. Like, I have almost seven. So it's like, you know, it happens. People get a lot of followers. Um, but then you go to look at their pictures, and the pictures have, like, 15 likes, 30 likes, one comment, no comments at all. And to me, that's kind of like, ding, little red flag. So basically, basically what that's about is you can buy fake followers on Instagram. I noticed this was somebody like a year ago that had 11,000 followers a year ago. And they had like 30 likes per picture. And they still only have 11,000 followers a year later, and that doesn't make any sense to me, because you're going to at least go up at least a thousand followers if you have that many. You're going to keep going up. You're not just going to stop and stay stagnant at 11. You're going to keep going up. Companies' followers never changed. They always stayed at 11, or whatever it is, they just stayed there. So, basically what that is, is that you can buy followers, you can spend X amount of dollars, and it just pumps, like, followers into your Instagram, except... You're paying for a fake number on your page. You're not paying for actual followers because if you actually had followers, you would get likes and you would get comments. You're actually just paying for that stupid 12K number or whatever. You can also, I've looked it up, there's also like a hack you can do. You can go in on your computer and like hack Instagram and make it say you have as many followers as you want to. Um, so I'm just saying, whenever you guys are a little skeptical about something like this, be sure to check the amount of comments and likes on somebody's picture. Like, there's tons of, like, virgin hair suppliers and wig companies that follow me, um, or that leave me comments saying, hey, would you like to partner? Hey, I'd love for you to come and, like, partner with us and, like, make wigs for us. And I go and look at their page... And, like, all of the wigs that they have are just either pictures of celebrities or, like, stock wig photos from, like, every single website I look at on a daily basis. And they have two likes. And it's like, you know, <clears throat> I understand, like, you're trying to build an empire, you're trying to build a business and a brand. I get that. I totally get that. But going and saying you have that many followers is just dumb. Like, I think it's just dumb and lazy. Like, work for it. Like, hashtag, get people that actually, like, get friends of yours that have more followers to shout you out. You know, start a YouTube, start a Facebook, start helping yourself get there without having to fake it because some people are dumb and some people are going to see, oh my God, he has 12,000 followers. That's amazing. Oh my God. But they're not going to look to see that you have 30 likes per picture. How I like to do the math with this whole thing is that, so I have close to 7,000. I'll probably, I'll probably hit 7,000 followers this weekend. I'm at like 6,900 and something. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. Mwah. So my little mathlete equation here is somebody says they have double the amount of followers that you do. Shouldn't they have double the amount of likes and comments that you do? I know people that have upwards of 100,000 followers on Instagram. Yes, real followers, not fake ones. And they'll have like a thousand something likes on a picture. So me over here with 700 or 7,000 followers, I think the most likes I ever got in a picture was like 400, 450, something like that on one picture. So if you're telling me that you have 14,000 followers, then you should have on average like... Seven or eight hundred likes per picture, don't you think? But if I go and look at your stuff 
and you have 30, 20, not even 100 likes on a picture, ding, 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 ding. That means you're a loser and you're faking Instagram. And it's false advertising because it's making you out to seem like a lot more than you are. And I just think that that's, that's just sad. And honestly, it's kind of pathetic. And it's, I, 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 like I said, I do understand you're trying to make your company seem like it's better and you're trying to like get your name out there and everything. But buying fake followers or hacking Instagram and getting fake followers isn't going to make your business more popular and it isn't going to make your business better. It's going to give the appearance of your business being better and more popular, but it's actually not going to do anything because these followers you're buying aren't real. And these followers that it's saying you have aren't real. Whether it says you have 12,000 12, or not, if you have 700 followers, real followers, that's all you have. And that's all that's liking and seeing your stuff. And they don't have as many likes and comments or anything as you do. They don't have as many followers as you do. You actually have more. But they went and hacked the system like a lazy ass and fixed it. Um, I also have a big problem with people on Instagram that, you know, take credit for other people's work or people that are like wannabes. The brand of wigs that I sell on my website, numerous other people sell on their website, such as Wigs by CC. said this before in a video, I don't make these wigs, I buy them from China, I, you know, up the price and I resell them. I've been purchasing from this company for about a year. A queen friend of mine brought me like seven of these wigs to redo for a music video. And I asked her, where did you get these wigs from? They're great for like, you know, a, a factory wig. And she told me, and she said that if you email the company and you get a bulk rate and all of that. So I email the company and I tell her, hey, you know, my friend just brought a couple of these wigs for me and I love them. I'd love to set up an account with you guys. How do I do it? And so then, you know, she gave me the whole rundown, like the purchase order, like the bulk pricing, shipping, PayPal, all of that fun stuff. And so I started carrying her wigs. And after I'd ordered about two or three times, she started emailing me, asking me for advice. You know, she was saying, people, people think that these wigs are too big. Can you help us? I told them that they just need to lay their lace differently. I don't even know if they do it on a bias, just kind of hangs there which on bigger heads is great because it kind of stretches out but on a smaller head it gets kind of warbly and so I told her if you guys stretch the lace a different way it will cup onto a variety of head sizes and shapes now since the wigs are still the same now a year later than they were then I don't think that that's what they're doing um, but she has emailed me in the past and asked me to send them ideas for styles and send them ideas for colors. This company on Instagram claims to be the design, the exclusive designer and maker of these wigs. And I carry them, Wigs by CC carries them, this website carries them, numerous other websites and places carry these wigs as well. So my question to her was, well... If you're really the designer of these things, why isn't your name on it anywhere? Why are why are all of these other companies purchasing from the distributor manufacturer directly in China and not from you and your company in the UK? Why is and why of all of us, why are your prices the highest for these pieces? I mean, I understand like, I'm accusing them of like lying about something. I understand. But they got really snippy with me and they said that like they designed these wigs. It took them seven years to design it and they've been working really hard and they're proud to bring all these wigs to you and all of these things. And she said, and she said, if you have an account with the company, email them and they'll tell you that I'm the that I'm the designer of these things. So me put my little Nancy Drew hat on and emailed this company. And if you are the designer and you're the name and the face behind something, put your damn name on it. The fact that your name isn't on it, to me, was the first sign that you're not actually the, the designer trying to sit there and take credit for someone else's hard work and someone else's money and time. You're sitting there trying to take credit for it, and that's what I have a big problem with. Also, this person claiming to be the designer, that, you know, they've designed these wigs with this company. Meanwhile, this person watches my videos on YouTube, and hi, <laughs> started putting up pictures of them roller setting and styling and saying I was watching Bobby's tutorials and now I know how to roller set. Excuse me, but if you were the wig designer of these things, you should have known how to do this stuff seven years ago when you designed them and not now after you're finding somebody that carries your wigs on their website. If they were, they would carry them just on their website. 
I would not be able to order them by going over her head. I wouldn't be able to carry them for a cheaper price than what she has. So it's all these things that this person didn't figure out before they started making up this lie. Now, is this person going to see this video? Maybe. Is this person going to call me out on it? Probably. And I'm sorry, but you told me to email them and ask if you were the designer, and I did. And they flat out told me that you were not. They told me you were a customer, and they told me that you suggest wigs for them to make. And then I said, okay, well, I have some wigs I would like to suggest for you guys to make too. Could I? And they said, yes, we would love that. You and I are equals. We're distributors. We are reselling product from a manufacturer in China. Neither of us are the designer. Neither one of us are the maker. Yeah, it's just, it's not cute. I'm sorry. Now everybody is in the wig industry and everybody is a wig maker and all of that. And I've already gone on my big long rant about styrofoam heads and hot glue guns and all of that. And I... I still hold true to that. It's not wig making. That is arts and crafts. That is cut and paste. I'm sorry. If you're a wig maker, you're sewing. If you're a wig maker, you're ventilating. If you're a wig maker, you're making your own damn weft. Granted, I don't know how to do my own wefting, and I don't have time to sit there and do it, but that's what real wig makers do. I as well go teach at Michael's or Joanne Fabrics, because that's what that is. And like, I, like I've said before, I even kind of have problems calling myself a wig maker because I've only been doing it for three years. Now people are starting to teach wig classes. And I'm sorry, but why are you going to pay somebody, you know, 50 or 60 bucks to go sit in a room and have them teach you how to hawk glue wig on, hair on a cap when you can look that up on YouTube for free? And honestly, is it really that hard hawk glue track? press it, hot glue, track, press it. It's really not that hard. Then also it's just, you know, people that are on these websites that are hair companies and wig companies and wig makers and all of that. But, you know, they're, they're posting stock images from a distributor in China or they're posting stock images of a celebrity. Or if they do actually have a picture, it's a really grainy picture of the inside of a hair closure. I understand like wanting to make money, wanting to be profitable, wanting to start your own business. I get that. I, I understand it. That's what I'm doing. That's I am running my own business, my own company. But I take all my own pictures. I don't use stock photography. I take my own pictures. Every time I get a new wig in style, I set up my mannequin, I put a necklace on her, and I put the wig on it, and I fluff it a little bit, and I take my own photographs. I don't use stock images at all, and I don't use celebrity images at all. If the company you want to order a wig from only has stock like China store photography and celebrity photography, run for the hills because you don't actually know what you're getting yourself into. And if the price is too good to be true, it is. If you've never seen a price that low anywhere else, and if you're kind of skeptical on the fact that this is going to be genuine or if this is going to be a good quality piece, just skip it and spring for something a little more expensive because cheaper it is, the worse the craftsmanship is, and the worse the hair quality is. If it's too good to be true, it is. I understand like everyone's out there trying to grind and trying to get their own and I love that because everybody is you know stepping up their game and doing so much especially now with social media and everything but if a celebrity is not your client don't say that they are your client and I'm sorry but if you have a picture of a celebrity up on your Instagram saying she's wearing my extensions she's wearing my wig and unless I actually know you personally or if you actually posted a picture of that wig before that person wore it I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You know, anyone can look up a picture of, you know, Celebrity X from a reality show and say that that's their hair extensions or hundreds of thousands or millions of followers. So how are they going to know that you're sitting there reposting their pictures? If someone's wearing your hair extensions or someone's wearing your wig, get a picture of the two of you together. Get a picture of you fixing their hair with them with it on. And then I'll believe you that they're your client. And then I'll believe that you made the thing on their head. But if you're just reposting from their Instagram, I'm sorry. Like, I don't, I don't believe you. And I think that people, I think that Instagram and the internet in general has made people really lazy. And I think it's easier and faster for people just to be lazy and to not try to get better or try to learn anything new. So they will just fake followers or they will just fake clients. And that's really frustrating. And that's hence why I frustration Friday. It's very frustrating for those of us that work hard. Those of us that work 
24-7. Those of us that grind so hard, it hurts. That, you know, and then we get recognition, but then somebody else can get recognition for being a faker. And I just don't think that's fair. I don't think that that's cool. But, you know, that's... That's how the ball's rolling, and that's what technology has done to us. So all I can say is work harder. If you have to sit there and you have to buy followers or you have to hack it and fake followers, put some of that effort that you're putting towards making fake followers, put that effort towards getting real followers. Put it towards taking a class. Put it towards practicing your art. Put it towards getting out there and meeting people. Put that time and energy somewhere else where it matters because followers don't matter. Don't matter unless you're faking them and then you're an idiot. <laughs> so that's all I'm saying is that like if you're going to put the time and energy into something like that, put it into something that's actually going to help you. Put it into a class. You know, put it into furthering yourself as a business person, as an artist, as whatever. And then it's going to come back to you tenfold. But if you just sit there and fake it or if you just sit there and have this big ego and your work's crap, you know, it's the same thing. No one's going to want you. And, and it's just like, as I always say, just like, stay humble, stay grounded. Don't get cocky. Don't get, you know, egotistical because there's always going to be someone who comes along that's going to be better than you. That's going to be five minutes before you. That's going to be more talented than you. There's always somebody right before you and somebody right behind you. And if you take the time to sit there and get cocky and you take the time to sit there and get egotistical and get this big head about how good you think you do hair, it's going to come and nip you in the butt eventually. So stay humble work hard and continue to better yourself and continue your education always. And that's the keys to success, I think. So I think that that's kind of it for this Frustration Friday. Um, you know, kind of, kind of stupid, I guess. I don't know. It's just, this has been bugging me for a while. And I initially made a video about it a while ago, but I was in a really, really, really bad mood that day. And it just came out nasty. Like I was calling people out and I wasn't saying names or anything, but I was like, you know, going in on these people. And I went back and watched it the next day before I posted it. And I was like, you know what? This just isn't, you know, this just isn't cool. And I think I pulled like an old drag video out or something and put that up instead because I didn't want that image of me being out there. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this Frustration Friday video. If there's anything you'd like to ask me about my custom wigs or my prices or anything, my email is info at bobbypins.com. It's also down in the box. Be sure to check out all my fun social media stuff as well. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for another Wiggy Weavy Wednesday. Stay tuned.